Can you remind me again how you happened upon Maxie in the woods, going into labor? Sure. I just live a couple miles from here, and I hike those woods every single day. And your route happens to be the exact same spot where Maxie was? Shouldn't one of you at least pretend to be the good cop? Uh, she's not a cop, remember? <laughs> right. <laughs> but she did have a good question, which you didn't answer. Hiking centers me. And ordinarily, I try and do it early in the afternoon, but Joe Tucker flipped his tractor and had to help the guy out. He said his femur. Oh, yeah. wow. That sounds like a busy day for a country duck. I would have... I would have skipped the hike for sure. Well, like I, I said, I hike those woods every day. Is right. that so? Yes. You see, this is why I choose to not live in a city. Because with a higher density of population, there's a higher likelihood that you'll run into somebody with your level of cynicism. <laughs> it's true. Maxie was alone in those woods, and she went into labor. And if you're her friends, you should celebrate the fact that she ran into somebody. And not just somebody, but somebody happened to be a doctor. And I don't mean to brag. I don't mean to boast, but I'm kind of the good guy in this story. Is that why there's a hidden camera in this room? I don't know what camera you're talking about. That one right there. Same at the entire room. Huh. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I, I can only assume that the management company put that there. I've never seen that before. Really? Yeah, really. Go ahead and dust it for fingerprints, detective. You won't find mine on it. Okay. Look, I had nothing to do with Maxie's kidnapping. Mm -hmm. First time I laid eyes on that woman, she was in the woods. She was having a baby. Well, I just got a message from the Pawtuck PD. They sent over the video footage from that camera from that day. Excellent. That's that's really fast. What are we waiting for? Let's go to the video. Cheryl. Well, as you can see, I'm not on that video. So like I told you both, I wasn't here that night. And Maxie sure is a strong woman. Yes, she is. Well, uh, Austin, thanks for your help. I'll, uh, walk you out. Oh, sure, yeah, right. I mean, this is when you two talk about me. Yeah, pretty much. I'll be in touch. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to think. Max, you lied to us. 